make a pinch pot. Add feet or a foot. A foot can be as simple as a coil rolled into a ring or a donut. You can also flatten your coil out using your rolling pin and have a more of a rounded rectangular pedestal for your pinch pot. So I can take it like that. I can do the other side real quick. Not too thin, please. And now I can stand this up and coil this around. Attach and attach. Remember when we attach, we score and slip. Fit the foot around the base of your pinch pot. And we wanna mark and cut at a 45 degree angle through both the front end and the back end of the coil. So I'm just slicing that now. So now I made a mitered 45 degree angle, which I will score and slip and attach. And you're attaching these 45 degree angles. Make sure this doesn't get too thin here. Okay, remember to smooth your seams. Smooth it out and get rid of any cracks or crevices. Make sure it has no imperfections that you can see. Set the foot on the base of your pinch pot and trace its location so you know where to score. Score the pinch pot and the foot well. Apply slip to both pieces. Stick the foot to the pinch pot. Remember to press down and wiggle. Then smooth the seams. Roll a coil that is a little bit thicker than the wall of your pinch pot. To make your cup or bowl taller, you can add to the rim or lip of the pinch pot by adding coils. So score both sides, apply slip to both sides, stick the two together, and then we'll begin to smooth. For a seamless cup or bowl, smooth the inside as well. You can continue adding coils until you get the height and shape you want.